you know, I wanted to say this little arc soft showbiz thing, you know, I really just dropped some freaking video clips into it and um let me see if I can drop a, a different video clip into it. Uh, hold on. Okay, we try to load MP4s in here. This thing really gets squirrely on you. But, um, you know, I've rendered this thing like in less than a minute, you know, but these aren't very big files. But um, let's just see what it does here, though. Uh, this is extra big since I put that other file into it. Um, I'll format WMV. We'll just leave it at that setting there. Call it 333. Uh, I don't want to put it there though. Put it here. See how long it takes. As I said, it was actually astonishingly fast for, you know, as it rendered those two little clips um, really quickly, like within seconds. But this, you know, I've added that three minute, uh, one of my three minute um, AVIs onto it. But again, it doesn't seem to work properly with MP4s, and the damn thing was getting sluggish, so acting like it's out of memory or something. So, um, just wanted to compare it to Motion Studio, you know. Even though it's, it's, you know, again, uh, this would be no substitute, but I was just wondering for quick and dirty videos if this might be a better choice. And I don't know, I don't know if it's rendering times any faster from looking at it here, but I was thinking this might be a good program, you know, to use just to stitch videos together really quick and dirty like. And I don't know because, you know, these are all different resolutions, so at least I'm pretty sure they are. Let's see. Let's see, this is the one I am applying here, and I think it is. But that has audio in it, though. I don't know what happened to the audio. Anyway. So you can time your stopwatch is 50% done. So okay, and um, this is the result. It's 24 megabytes. So it's not too bad. The other one was only 900k. Hmm. That's a four foot high letter, but these are really old. And actually inferior LEDs, by the way, but it's a letter for this with any. It was the next one. Yeah. Not too bad. Wait, well, let's see what how long it was. Yeah, it's about three minutes and forty three seconds. So, um, you know, it took a while to render though. I don't know if uh, Corel would have done it any faster or slower. But anyway, it was a cool way to stitch. You know, and the. Uh, you know, all these videos all, uh, you know, quick and dirty at different resolutions and, you know, so, anyway, something to keep in mind. Uh, yes, let's save the project. Let's save it to, Video play. Um, we'll call this uh, Arkansas. Okay.